Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Well, recently we did an event at a winery and they wanted us to use wine corks in a very interesting way. And so I came up with these amazing accoutrements. We made some cork jewelry and I'm gonna teach you how to make them right now. For this project, you will need corks, box cutter, cutting surface, 13 16 inch screw eyes, needle nose pliers, tie tack findings, earring hooks, elastic, scissors, beads, ruler, wood burner with alphabet stamps or Sharpie marker, and a glue gun. There we go. So I'm going to be using 13 16 um, screw eyes just because I think that they're a really nice size, but you can play with your own sizes. Um, I'm going to show you how to make the earrings here first. Now, when you're making an earring, we want to get this attached first. And you might be able to slide it through, but I think what you're probably going to need to do, like I have found, is get those needle nose pliers in there and open it up just a tiny little bit. See how I've opened that up just a tiny little bit so that I can slide on the earring back finding. And just slide that on there and then with your needle nose pliers, close that up. And then you're gonna to wanna to add this whole fixture to your cork. And I'm, it doesn't really matter where you place it on the cork, but you do want to try to aim for the center of the thickness here. And then you're just going to screw that on in so it's nice and tight. Now, one of the things that I've found with jewelry is that you want to make sure there's no way for your findings to come out. And so I like to try to get my screw eye all the way down and into that cork. So see how it's, it's actually stuck down in there. And that's going to make sure that that's no way that that's going to pop out of that little tiny gap there. Because even if you squeeze, 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 there's still going to be that tiny little gap. But because it's down inside the cork, it's not going to pull out. Now the reason I like to put my finding on first is so that when I put my wood burning, I'm always going to make sure that I'm getting it going in the right direction. Now here's my wood burner and what I've learned is that it works best if you roll your wood burner. So I've got my letter S here and I'm just going to roll it across. And then I'm going to flip it and again I know where my top is so I can line this up and just roll it right across. Now, if you don't have a wood burner, you could always use a Sharpie pen and just draw on your letters. So that's how you make an earring. Now, to make the bracelet, what you're going to do is you're going to take one of these cork pieces and you're actually going to put your screws on both sides, one on this side and one on that side, so that it looks like this. Then you can personalize it once again by rolling and then when you make the bracelet part what you're going to do is take your string and you're actually going to run it through one side and just tie one end off here So you tie that off and then string your beads on both strings. Pull them around and then tie off on the other side, just like this. So it's strung through here, strung the beads on both strings, and then just tied off on the other edge so that you make your bracelet. For a necklace, it's very simple. You just make your screw eye in the top, just like we did for the earring, and then you just use your string and string your beads. Very pretty and simple. And then the last one I want to show you is a tie tack, and that's super, super easy. 
all you do is burn your letter. Flip it over. Take a little hot glue. Put a little hot glue on the back of your cork. And put your tie tack right on the back. Let it set up really nice and good. And as soon as it's dry, you can add the backer. But wait till it's dry because you don't want them to stick together. So there you have it, your own amazing personalized cork jewelry. All you need is some corks, some beads, some jewelry findings, and you are set to make yourself a beautiful. For more ideas, check us out at sobe-world.com.